Welcome to the Canadian Real Estate Channel, and we are on the Friday Finance Special with the Finlay Mortgage Team, and we are going to break down all of your questions and answer them live in real time. We have a question from Paul just asking, is there a mortgage product out there that will allow you to use your stock portfolio as collateral to qualify for a larger mortgage? Um, don't want to sell and pay capital gains. Yeah, it's a really good question. Um, so there are net worth products out there where we essentially take a look at, based off of the income that you have, what is your maximum amount of income? So let's just say you were showing a bare minimum, you were making like twenty, thirty thousand dollars a year. Um, we would take a look at, based on that thirty thousand dollars, what is the size of mortgage that you could qualify? So let's just say you were looking to buy a million dollar property, twenty percent down, you needed eight hundred thousand dollar mortgage, and let's say you could only qualify for three hundred thousand dollars. Now to get to that full $800,000 mortgage, we would have to then show dollar for dollar matching in some sort of liquid asset. And we can take a look at checking account, savings accounts, TFSAs, registered funds, GICs, uh, mutual funds, RSPs. Um, there's quite a few different things that we can take a look at. Now there are some um, funds out there like an RSP, like anything registered or locked in. There is a discounted value, so they take a look at 70 to 75 percent, depending on which lender it is, just for the tax holdback reasons. Um, but if you have enough additional liquid assets to be able to make up for the difference, you know, we can go ahead and get that mortgage for you, even though you don't technically qualify based on your income for that full size of the mortgage. Now, there are some other things, um, just kind of details and, and nominal stuff in the RN that we have to take a look at. Um, you know, if you want a full 80 percent loan of value. Uh, the maximum mortgage that you're looking to qualify for um, based off of income qualification and additional net worth based, um, you know, your, your debt servicing has to be either, um, you know, has to be under 60% for you to be able to qualify for that full 80%. If it's over 60% TDS, uh, you're limited to 65% loan of value. Um, so some lenders out there that have really good products, uh, Scotia has a really good product. Now with Scotia, you do have to be able to show that you've owned those assets for an entire year. So they're either going to take a look at annual statements or quarterly statements, depending on um, what account you're with and what types of funds uh, you have and, and what statements are available. Um, B2B has a very similar product like Scotia, except they don't necessarily have that same time length requirement. Um, essentially, they take a look at the time of purchase. Do you have those funds available in your account? Um, uh, Manulife has a really good um, small business uh, product as well, too, if you're a small business owner you have liquid uh, assets, um, they can do that same type of product, uh, but they can go up to 70% TDS, so it allows you to qualify for a little bit more without having that same um, debt maximization that Scotia and B2B would have. But the net worth product, is, it's out there. There are a majority, there, there's a decent amount of lenders that have this product, um, and it is a good way to be able to utilize your, your, uh, your net assets to be able to help qualify. I think Aaron touched on the qualification side, but I think I might have thought of your or I've seen your deal, your question a little bit differently. If you're talking about actually being able to leverage your stock portfolio as a down payment source, unfortunately, there isn't a mortgage product out there that's going to allow you to do that. But there are private wealth options out there. Um, they're essentially a collateralized line of credit over your stock portfolio, depending on uh, if you're in private banking or not. Uh, sometimes those services are available to you through your financial institution. So if you wanted to use your essentially your stocks, the value of your stocks without necessarily needing to sell it and create a taxable event. Um, depending on your net worth and who you bank with, you can do that by opening up a line of credit. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the private side, like, I mean, it's obviously a giant risk, but I'm sure, like, Somebody I think I have heard of yeah. leveraging like a TFSA or some sort of lock. It probably has to be a locked in account because it's hard to collateralize something that you can just go in and liquidate right away. But, you know, if you had a huge RSP or something like that, I'm sure you could find a private lender who would be able to collateralize that. But again, you know, risk reward on that and what is the exit situation. But yeah, there's there's always some sort of solution to be able to utilize. If you're if you're quite liquid, there's 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 an opportunity out there for you to take advantage of that.